So, the Signals standalone book came out. I had high hopes for this. I like the Signal as a character. I like Duke Thomas. Uh, I think he's got a great, solid backstory that's set. Uh, I really uh, do like him. I like his costume. Uh, I liked what I've seen of him so far. He was great in uh, Dark Days. And uh, when I saw the metal sticker on the uh, cover, well, not sticker, but you know what I mean, uh, my hopes were even higher. And then I saw a story by Scott Snyder. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good on this. This is going to be cool. I'm, I'm excited. And then I opened the fucking book. You know, I had a conversation the other day about how saying a comic book is too wordy is fucking bullshit. That is the equivalent. Saying that about a comic book is the equivalent of buying a $3 soda or $4 soda pouring half of it on the fucking ground, letting the other half sit on the fucking counter until, you know, the carbonation runs out, it's flat and it's warm and it fucking tastes like shit, and then just guzzling the rest of it in one fucking shot. That is literally what you were what you were saying you want when you say a comic book is too weirdy. But then this fucking book came out. This is the definition of this writer got paid by the word. There is a lot of useless fucking dialogue that does nothing to this book. There are complete, you could take half of the fucking pages out of this book and you would still not fucking lose a goddamn thing. I tried to read this book. I did. I re I, I got like four pages in, realized I can't remember anything for the last four pages, started over again, got halfway through the book. I don't remember anything about this book. Went back to the start of the book again, read again, got like two pages in. Oh, what? I, I still don't know what's going on. And then I went back, okay, to the start, read it very fucking slowly. And this book was a chore to read. I mean, there was nothing about this book that captured me, that grabbed me and sucked me in. I mean, the art was standard. It's like, it's like this, the definition of a fucking C minus. The story is water thin. There's nothing here. There is not a single page in this entire book that furthers the plot beyond where you were before. You don't learn anything that we don't already fucking know. Uh, the char There's a fucking character who's introduced and in you don't even get their goddamn name. I, I don't know. I don't know. I saw the makings of some SJW bullshit in this book, but even that was done so piss poorly that I just couldn't fucking bother getting angry over it. I mean, if this is a sign of things to come with DC, guys, it is not looking good. Ugh, just fuck. Why the, why the fuck? I mean, the only part of this book that made me go, oh, okay, that's cool, was when Batman gave the signal his own fucking hideout, and it's called The Hatch. I'm like, okay, The Hatch, that that that's a great name for a hideout for a guy whose name is Signal, and kind of like the, the hatch door over, you know, like a signal light, okay. But other than those two words, this entire book fell flat. <sighs> I mean, there's... Uh, I guess the fact that it kind of feels like Static Shock is okay, but again, it feels like the most boring episode of Static Shock ever. I mean, it does... Really, yeah, it feels more like a really, really fucking bad Static Shock comic book than it does about something with a member of the Bat family. And really... Uh, I'm not going to be hard on this hard on issues 2 through and you know, 3 and 4, or however many there are. But fuck, this book was abysmal. The best way to sum this book up is an abortion in a Motel 8 dumpster that nobody cared about. Uh, the janitor came out, saw the abortion, the aborted fetus, and then just shrugged his shoulders, took a fucking, you know, trash bag from his pile and just kept piling trash in the dumpster. That is the best way to sum up this book. Buy it if you're a completionist. Buy it if you just want this whole set. But this is a fucking hard pass. Duke Thomas deserves better. Batman deserves better. 
And this is not the book that the signal deserves. With that being said, let me know what you thought about this fucking... Yeah, literally just aborted fetus found in a Motel 8 dumpster and piled with other trash on top of it. Let me know what you think about this book in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have fun.